Good morning, friends. Today we'll cover exercise one of uh, our tutorial series on Java serialization. So let's go to the exercise one code here that uh, that is uh, shown here. So here we have got another class, other class exercise one, which has which implements uh, serializable, and it has got two variables, static and transient. And in our main main class, where we have got this main method, we create this object of this other class exercise one. And then we serialize it to a file, and then we have got print statement to uh, print the static variable, uh, the static variable of this uh, of this object uh, with a pre increment operator. After that, we deserialize it back, and again we print the transient variable inside it and the static variable. So this is the code. Just have a very uh, close look on it, and the options that we have. Which of the following options are true? Choose all that apply. So the first two options state that if there's any failure in compilation or ex or any exception is shown at runtime, and if, it, if it's not the case, then there should be some output from those print statements. So you can choose either uh, of, of these four options. And the final two options show that if we want to change the default uh, Java serialization process, what are the methods that need to be need to implement? So just pause the video now. And after this pause, I will explain the solution. Okay. I hope that you have tried uh, to solve this problem on your own and mark the options here. So let's look at the solution now. So first of all, let's see that whether is any any probability of compilation failure or runtime failure. So I don't think there's any. There shouldn't be any uh, compilation failure because uh, these members are marked as first of all uh, as not as private but as default. If this was marked as private, then we couldn't access it using the dot operator here. So this seems to be correct because it's not private; it's default. And after that, uh, I don't think there should be any exception because it looks like a very standard way to serialize and deserialize back. Okay, so uh, A and B option shouldn't be correct. Uh, so there should be some output, right? So let's see whether our assumption is correct or not. Whether there is any exception or if there is any output. So let me run this. I will click run on this main method. So it's running now. Okay, the option is answer is sorry four zero four. Four zero four, which means that so A and B are not correct, and the output was coming as four zero four. Now let's look at how it came as this output. Uh, why was this as four zero four? So here, as we know that in the selection process, we don't serialize static or transient. All the other default fields are uh, are serialized and deserialized, but not static and transient. This is what we have learned in our previous chapters. That's why once we print uh, this uh, static variable with a pre-increment operator, so it it will be from three to four. So that is straightforward. It is not a part of selection. That's why it should be four as the first uh, as our first uh, output. And once we deserialize back, we know that transient variables was not a part of selection or deserialization. That's why when we once we deserialize it back, it will come as a default value of int, and the default value of int is zero. That's why it came as zero. And again, for the similar for the static variable, static variable has been incremented to four here, and it was not serialized or deserialized. That's why the other output is again as four for static. So that's why the option D is correct here. And to change the default serialization process, deserialization process, we can only implement this read object method. There is no there is no way we can. Override this default read object method. So only this option looks correct, which is G. So the correct answers for this exercise is D and G. I hope that the answer was was correct for you as well, and I hope that you tried it. So let's look at the other exercise exercise two in our next video.